guys, Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. So we're continuing on in our updated Cricut Design Space tutorials. And today we are gonna be talking about print and cut and the flatten. So if you come into Cricut Design Space on a new canvas, you'll, you can find a whole bunch of images if you have Cricut access already for um, to print and cut. If you just come in here and say, go to browse all images, over here on the filter section on the side, you can come over and you see there's already a print and cut. So you can click on this and you have a whole bunch of options to come in um, to make stickers, um, decals, all sorts of things, anything you want. So you can come down, there's 12,000 images. You'll know they have Cricut Access if they have that green little access thing on there. Um, and if not, they will say how much they are. So super easy to use. You can come in like these ones. Anything Disney will always cost money. But um, if you want, you can use those. Lots of cute little things here. Okay, and you can also filter to click that and then also free. And you'll see there's only a few. And these change over the year depending on the holiday. So let's say we click on this and add it to Canvas. You'll see that it's already over here. Um, you'll see already on, under the operation, it says print and cut. So this is all ready to go. So if you go to make it, it will already come up on an eight and a half by 11 because that's what it can print and everything there. Okay, so just to show you, you can pretty much make any image on here. You don't have to use the print and cut. I'm just in the free images in here just to kind of show you. So let's say you want to make stickers of this. You can click on it. We're going to add this to Canvas. So you'll see this comes in as a basic cut. But we can always come in and go down to Print and Cut. And you'll see it kind of flattens it there and changes the colors just a little bit. So anytime you do a print and cut, you want to make sure it's flattened. Right now it is not flattened, so just to show you, if I went to make it, it actually pulls it up on two different mats because there's actually two different layers to it. So we want to come back, and you'll see even on the layers panel here that there is two layers here. So all we want to do is click on it, and we're going to click flatten. So flatten is just like it squishes it all together into one layer. So now you'll see up here it says print then cut, and there's just one layer. So now when we go to make it, it is right there for us to use. Okay, so like I said, there is a size limit on the print and cut. So and it will show you when things are too big and things like that. Okay, so that's an option of kind of using anything. Let's say you want to bring something in to use on a print and cut. Let's go again. As I show you, I like Pixabay just because these are free. Um, to use, let's see if we type in stickers what they have here. Okay, so say we want to use this guy. We're going to download this, and I'm just going to use it as just a regular PNG here and download. And then I'm going to come back into Design Space and click on my Upload, Upload, Browse. And I'm going to pull in the skeleton. Okay, and I'm going to make him as complex since I'm going to be printing him. We want all those fine little details. If you see I click to simple, it will delete out a lot of those details. So I'm going to leave it on complex. Hit continue. Since I am printing it, I don't, and I don't want to erase any of it. I like it how it is. I'm going to click apply and continue. And now you see you have the two different options and I'm going to be printing this. So I'm going to click on print then cut image and click on upload. And click on upload again and add it to canvas. Okay, so now I have this guy that we can cut out. Okay, so say we want to cut him out like a whole bunch of him. Um, so you can see he's already a print and cut and there's no flatten option there because he's already flattened. So I'm going to click on make it and you can 
increase. I'm just going to keep pushing this up, see how many it will let me do. So it let it lets me do three, six, nine, twelve on one mat with this size. So I will kind of show you, and it's really based um, just kind of on the size of your image. So I'm going to go to continue, and you see on the print and cut, it always is going to send it to your printer. And if for some reason you've already printed it, you can always come in and click the I've already printed. But if we send it to printer, it's going to come up and it's going to find one of my printers that I want to print on. And then you always want to leave this ad bleed on. So it adds a little extra ink on the outside of it. So when the Cricut cuts it, it cuts kind of inside the ink a little bit so you don't have any edges on it. OK, so I'm just going to leave that if you want to use your system dialog to make it print in higher quality, things like that. You can toggle that on and it will pop that up. OK, so then you would print that and then put it on a mat. OK, I'm going to cancel this one. OK, so that shows you how to use ones within Design Space, how to upload it. Again, you can upload photos and make a bunch of things. So another fun way to use it is we can come into, let's type pattern and say something like this. I'm going to download this as a PNG and then back into Cricut and click those upload, upload and browse and bring in my floral. Save it as complex. Okay, apply and continue. I'm going to print and cut this. Okay, so say we want that and then we want actually text on top of it. If we want to make this a tag or something, so we can add text. I have another video all on text. Um, a few videos before, so we can go something like that, and I want to change the color of it. Let's see, get something darker. Okay, something like that. And we'll just change the font real fast. OK, something like that. So you can add text over it. So now we want to, so this all prints together. I'm going to actually drag my cursor over both of them. Or you can click on the select all up at the top. And when we're going to come down and we're going to flatten these together. So again, again, that smushes them together. So you can see up here, it says the print then cut now. So now this will print exactly how it is. So you can add things um, on top of each other. Even you can add, say, let's grab, if you want to put a heart or something. I'm going to put this heart in here. We're going to make it the color we want it to print. Okay, and stick that on that. And again, I'm going to grab both of them and flatten it together. Okay, so then that will cut all out. Okay, so just kind of giving you ideas of what you can do. You can add things on top of each other. As long as you flatten them, they will print. And then it will cut around the edge of everything. So if we go in to make it, you'll see that this is what's going to cut out here on this inner edge there. Okay. Okay, so it's going to cut. And so every time you cut it, it does have this triangle it does have this black rectangle around it, and that is what the Cricut reads to know where things are. So you need to have that on there, so don't panic that you have this black box that will print out. And um, that is needed for the Cricut to read those lines. Okay, another thing real fast to let you know if you haven't done a print and cut or haven't done one in a while, I would recommend going into your canvas, going into your settings up here by clicking those three lines and go into calibration. And on the print and cut, click the print and, print and cut and then do the calibration. 
I didn't, I hadn't done it in a while and I didn't, hadn't calibrated my machine and it kind of, um, cut a little funky. So I'd recommend calibrating if you haven't done that in a while, so, especially since these new updates and things like that. So this walks you step by step on how to do it. It's really easy and it will calibrate so it knows exactly where to cut out. Okay, so that's just giving you a few little ideas on the print and cut. I know there's a ton of stuff and I don't want to overwhelm you. So I'm trying to keep these videos short and just kind of give you a beginner's guide of what it kind of does. Okay, so I um, hope that helps and make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos.